God of Carnage, you and Roy Surratt, Roy's directing it. How do you, how do you and the director, you're almost the first in the game, right? Before the actors arrive, before Pretty rehearsal, much, yeah. The designer and the director sit down. How does that relationship work with you? He gives you the job, you've both read the script, and then you meet. What are you looking for in each other? Well, I'm just looking for someone who maybe has an, an original or, or some kind of take on the material that he can communicate to me that will make me respond and, and be able to come up with something to match him. Or, in the case where a lot of directors don't, ha they haven't really thought about it very much when they consult with a d d designer. Now, I don't mean to alarm you or anything, but uh, the, a lot of directors only really come to grips with the play when it gets into rehearsal. Especially people, busy directors, who are doing two or three things. Maybe he's talking to you at the same time he's directing something else somewhere else. And, you know, their mind sometimes isn't completely focused on it. Whereas, uh, as a designer, you have to think about it in depth quite a bit earlier sometimes than the director has. And, and in those cases, I'm always looking for a director who will trust me or trust my kind of intuition, intuitions about the play. Uh, you know, I'm looking for some sort of trust. And uh, a lot of times the mise-en-scene comes as a result of those meetings with the designer where maybe the director hasn't thought that in depth about it, but because of what you bring to the table, about the concept, it gives him a way, it offers him a way into the play, at least physically and visually. Right. And then with the actors, he can work on the characterizations and the rest of it. And then how do you approach it if the director you're sitting with actually has some very concrete ideas about the physical universe and they don't necessarily I love bring it. with yours? I love it. All I want to do is what I want to do, really, <laughs> you know what I mean? But if a director comes and wants to do something else, uh, first I resent it a little, and then I think about it for a while, and I think, gee, maybe I could adapt this. You know, maybe I could accommodate this other new idea. Uh, you know, so I welcome it. I mean, so if I was Roy Surrett and I sat down with you, and then you showed me these kind of designs for uh, God of Carnage, and I'm, Roy said, uh, yeah. Michael, really. It, this is really going to be set on the garbage heap outside of Shanghai, and I see it in a very degraded with, you know, garbage picking through the whatever. Can we work on that angle? How do you deal with that if he goes a I'd probably say you got the wrong man. <laughs> <laughs> would you? Yeah, I would. Sure. I have done with uh, people who, uh, with a director who has an idea that is intractable okay. and inappropriate. I mean, it's, that I can't... How can you... If you can't convince me that your idea is, is good and that I should consider it, how can you expect me to work on this with any kind of conviction? I can't. But if Roy was able to convince you that the garbage dump outside of Shanghai was in fact a he very eloquent way of expressing this play, would you He couldn't you? have convinced me. He couldn't. Okay. But I would have, if he said, look, I don't like this idea, what you got, I would have suggested, well, what if we start high and come down? You know <laughs> I mean, or, or, I go huh? or go sideways. Or go sideways. Maybe, yeah. <laughs>